Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. I am going to make some comments on the new Eldar book that's coming out. Now, these comments are just based on rumors that I'm reading online. And so, you know, the actual book may vary from, from what you're hearing here. But, of course, I've been an Eldar player for a long time, as you guys know, and I really, really just love everything about them. They, they absolutely fascinate me. The models are great. The idea and fluff behind them is just very engaging. And, of course, they have a very fun play style as well. They are extremely maneuverable, and you're definitely going to have a good time playing Eldar uh, win or lose. Also, I am making this uh, recording uh, off of my computer's own internal microphone, so... I, I realize the sound quality isn't too bad. Apologies, but I also have uh, a lot that I'm doing nowadays, and I'm also keeping up on the on the videos that we're putting out. Be sure to catch the Eldar Windriders versus Cahorn Demon Ken battle report that Rich and I did. I just put up the final part for that, and uh, no matter what happens in the game, it's definitely worth watching. There's a lot of fun to be had. I've got Rich coming out for a battle report tonight. He's going to be playing against a friend of his. I am not sure what exactly they're playing. It's going to be Eldar versus Grey Knights. That's what it is. Okay, let's take a look. So, um, hold on a second. Oh, wait a minute. So, these aren't rumors. These are actually from somebody who has the book already. Uh, so, this is has a high degree of accuracy, if not 100% accuracy. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, the uh, Farseer powers, or the, the regular Eldar powers. They, in fact, you know what, I need to get an Eldar book. Hey, would you go grab me an Eldar book? Okay, great, perfect. Uh, incidentally, I have my son, my teenage son, working with me nowadays, and I gotta say, that has been really absolutely wonderful for uh, this family relationship. Oh, the one in your right hand. Thanks. Perfect. Thanks. All right. So, first off, they got rid of some powers which were absolutely not awesome. Death Mission is notably gone. Thank goodness. It turns the Farseer supposedly into some close combat monster, but it's it's nothing worth writing home about. I mean, he uh, he only gets plus two attacks. Yay, another two strength three attacks. So, uh, but now it's uh, Executioner, and uh, it looks like Executioner just stayed the same. And I actually like this power. You, basically, it's a focused witch fire, and you, you, the first target gets three hits that wound on a two up. So, you're even if it's a marine equivalent, you're almost guaranteed to to get a to get a, a, at least one kill. And if you can if you can actually hit a specific guy, I'm not sure how that works. I gotta look up focus switch fire really quick. Oh no wait, that is not the rule book. This is the rule book. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm gonna look up focus switch fire really quick. Yeah, this might take a while for me to do this video. It's alright, you guys are gonna love it. Uh, page 27, 37, 30, 27, here it is. Uh, you can choose a specific model. Oh, okay, great. So if you get uh, the warp charges in excess of what's needed, and it's only one, so if you get two, you get to pick the model. You, well, that is great. That makes, uh, that gives uh, the Farseer a lot of synergy. A new one called Fatality, you reroll to wound or to penetrate when firing at a target unit. Uh, that sounds like Doom. What's the difference? Why didn't they just keep it the same? Same name. Okay, uh, Will of Assyrian, a 12-inch bubble of fear and adamantium will. Fortune, as always. Mind, fight, mainly the same. That's probably the same as Mind War, which I enjoy. I've always liked that power. Ancest okay, here it is. Ancestral Storm. Warp charge is three. <laughs> that means you got to blow six dice on that, and it's still iffy. It's still iffy to get that. Five-inch blast, 
If you do four warp charges, you get an apocalypse blast, which is a pie plate of 10 inch diameter. It's haywire and wounds on a two plus. Oh, um, oh, th there it is. So no, it's um, the uh, yeah. These are translated from Spanish, so that's why that's why the names have changed. Okay, Wraith Knight is now Lord of War, coming in at 295 points. So only one, no more giant squadrons of Wraith Knights. And uh, yeah, and the points are up. So probably new powers on there. Um, <clears throat> Wraith Guard and Wraith Blades cannot become troops for taking a Farseer. Uh, let's see here. Distortion weapons. All distortion weapons are strength D. The, um, the Wraith Guard D sides have some fiddly rules. Now here's, an, here's what's interesting. Banshees add three inches when running or assaulting. They uh, ignore the penalty when assaulting through cover. Thank goodness, finally, they took care of that issue. Okay, uh, Crimson Hunter, basically the same, but uh, went down in points. In fact, uh, how many points did that? Went down by 20 points. Awesome, and it was already a great choice. Fantastic. All right. Uh, Wraith Knight gets sword and shield is a free option. The sword is strength D, so it's a D weapon. Solar cannon plus shield free. Wraith Knight's heavy wraith cannons, the equipment by default. Well, that's good. Hold on. Where was I? No, I'm looking up the Wraith Knight here. Yeah, the sun cannon used to be 40 points. Uh, but, of course, the, the base model is more, so we'll see how those points work out when I actually have my book in hand. Wraith Knights, okay. Uh, no changes on Battle Focus or Blade Storm. Awesome. Battle Focus is great. Je By the way, I, when I'm reading through this, I don't see any downside to this. I don't see anything that's getting nerfed. We'll see. Jet Bikes, 70 points a model. Now, here's the big one, guys. This is huge. Any Jet Bike can purchase a shuriken cannon or a scatter laser for plus 10 points. That is enormous. That is, fan oh man. So jet bike unit costs 51. You slap a shuriken cannon on there, which gives it some real good killing power against light vehicles and, and guys too. And you got 61 points. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, 61. But for plus 20 points, they can all just have shuriken cannons. Now, with my 18 jet bikes, it'll cost me 120 points more than it does now to get shuriken cannons on every single last one of them. And I believe that's what you're going to see, uh, assuming they haven't changed the stat line on it. Uh, as far as scatter laser, I don't, I, I don't know what the new stats are. But if you can get a scatter laser... Scatter laser has to have been uh, reduced in power, and here's why. Scatter laser, strength 6, AP 6, heavy 4. Why would you not just take a heavy 4 weapon with 36-inch range? Yeah, some, so guys, I can tell you right now, the scatter laser is going to be different. Uh, maybe that's farther down. Okay, um, wave serpents are, hold on. Wave Serpents are awesome, but the um, the Serpent Shield is one use only now. Yes, one use only. Yep, you just blow that up. Can't keep doing Oh, but hold on. It's one use only, but it does 2d6 shots for the one use. Well, yeah, and because you're talking about the idea of Alpha Strike and early game usefulness. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this. Okay, no, that's fine. You're welcome to be here. More than happy to have you. Drew just came up. Yep. His beady little gnome eyes scanning the workshop for what's going on. Okay, here we go. Uh, shining spears. Okay, are the shining spears going to come into play? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wave serpent, did it go down in points? It did. Only a little bit, though. Only It went down five points. Shining Spears have a four plus cover save if they moved in the previous turn. That is awesome, especially if the Warlocks still have Conceal. 
that is, wow, 25 points a model, so that's the same. Lance is 6 inches, strength 6, assault 1, lance, and combat plus 3, strength when charging. Both are AP3. I don't know if that's the same. We'll see, we'll see if Shining Spears become a thing. Wraith Blades have rage. Awesome. Uh, but I do believe they are... Hold on. Oh, they actually went down in cost a little bit. Good. So, well, because you, ne you never know. They, they make things better, but are they good enough to actually start seeing the light of day? Because I don't see many Wraith Blades coming through here. Hemlock, uh, guess what? Same cost, but is now level 2 Psyker. And can have sacred demonology. I don't even know what that is. I'm not really up on that aspect. Telepathy, battle runes, D-sides are D-weapons. Awesome. So telepathy, uh, that could be ridiculous. Let me uh, see if I can whip out my psychic powers here. Uh, wow. Telepathy. Well, the Primaris power is Psychic Shriek. Oh, man. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We'll see if we see Hemlocks now. Uh, I haven't got to the good part yet. Okay, uh, Scorpions are um, about the same price, if not exactly the same. They have Infiltrate, Shrouded, and Stealth until they fire or fight in combat. That's actually pretty good. Stealth and Shrouded are cumulative, so if you're in any kind of cover, these guys get a two-up. And that's, that's really going to help them. Uh, warp spiders are uh, looking to be 19 points a model. So did they go up or down? I don't know. I think they went down in points cost. Warp spiders. Where are you, warp spiders? Uh, nope, nope. That's exactly the same. No, the, hold on. Where am I? Yeah, they're, they're the same. Uh, but they, we, they went back to the awesome old rule where they wound against initiative. And that's because uh, they're monofilament things. If they land on you, you're dead. So you got to, like, dodge out of the way. It used to be they, they had a flamer template. And that when you... Um, so they used to have a flamer template. And so you do your initiative tests. And if you jumped out of the way, you'd go to the edge of the template. And so you could use a unit of warp spiders to basically herd an enemy unit into a disadvantageous position. Anybody remember that? Uh, Hawks... Look to be um, look to be the same thing. They um, except they have another power apparently. So they got better. They move 18 inches, and when moving over a flyer, they can do a haywire attack. Okay. Um, the uh, hawks have uh, what is it? Victorious whatever, where they don't scatter when they deep strike. Okay, here comes the big one. There are now squadrons of falcons, night spinners, or fire prisms. And they can go up to three. Three per unit. That's huge. Okay, now here's where we're going to see the falcon come back, boys and girls. And by the way, if you use the fire prism turret conversion that I use, you can make that same chassis into anything just by switching out those two front points. Guys, it's the way to go. Do it that way. All right. So the Falcons, if, they, if they're in a group of three, they can deep strike, and they don't scatter. The others just come in within four inches of the first. This is huge. I'm telling you, this and the Shuriken Cannon thing are both like nuclear bombs in the scene of Eldar because you've, you've got like an Alpha Strike type creature here. That could basically just drop behind anything, drop behind stuff, blow it up, wretchedly, I might add. And but you're looking at probably a four or five hundred point unit, so we'll see. Fire prism, reach additional fire prism firing, add plus one strength, minus one AP. Okay, we all knew that. Night spinners, plus one strength for each night spinner. That's in guys. This is in these squadrons of vehicles. They all have, like, just this amazing stuff to it. So if, the, if I'm reading the fire prism thing right, it means in a unit of three, you would get this uh, prism cannon. So they'd all be plus three strength. Oh, additional. So plus two strength minus two AP. Okay, so the dispersed, which would be large blast, would be strength seven AP one. Focused would be strength nine AP one. That's a blast. 
And then the lance would be strength 10. <laughs> strength 10 AP1, heavy one lance. Awesome. Yeah, in fact, you really only you really only need two. Although I should really turn my phone off for this. Okay, so now we've got the serpent shield. Only 24 inch range. Okay, so that 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 got that got a huge nerf. Absolutely huge nerf. Okay, um Warhost detachment always runs six inches, huge. Serpent shield defense when working as a shield, it works as before. Uh, Guardians, same. Dire Avengers, ballistic skill two on Overwatch. Avatar's Lord of War, but mostly the same. I don't know if you're even gonna see, he's gonna see the light of day now, because people are gonna want to field their wraith knights, because that's what people have, and people with lots of wraith knights, boy, I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, formation, well, there's still formations for wraith knights, right? Formation rules, guardian battle host. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go through this at this. Thing. Um, Dire Avengers are still troops. Uh, pistol. Oh, the special items. Why do they make a pistol a special item? That's so stupid. Oh, I just said something negative. Yikes. Sniper rifle, 120 inch range, AP2. Nice. Well, guys, that is. That is uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool stuff. Okay, so this will this will be um, this is going to be interesting how this how this plays out because uh, there's some obvious expected nerfs here, and uh, notably the wave serpent, but the wave serpent's still good. I mean, it's still good, and the thing with the jet bikes and the thing with the deep striking falcons. I think those are the two, two big ones. All right, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow. I want you to know that I'm here every day. I'm moving every single client's project forward just as quickly and as efficiently and uh, with an eye to detail and quality as I possibly can. And uh, I've got a good crew working with me, uh, but I am uh, working up the administrative end of blue table painting again and definitely taking taking a new look at it and i think there's some really good changes that have been made uh, in terms of in terms of our system that's going to help things get through in a much more much more expedient fashion so with that comment i leave you see you tomorrow